Okay, here's another <coughs> match uh, video, and I think I'm going to be finished because I'm getting tired. And it's time for me to go to sleep. Um, but in this case, uh, let's fi find the second. So we'll we'll again take the same question, but this time. Uh, we instead of finding this one, let's find this one. Okay, and we could do it for the third or the fourth or the fifth. Now, unlike the other ones, I already um, uh, did this for you, but I think we're going to have to uh, adjust it. This says match, find the second, and it says look up value, and then it says put a column, and I'm going to put a column range. Okay, and it goes to 1,000. Now, for some of these other ones, you could you could define the rows you want to look into. Okay, but because uh, if it doesn't find it, <laughs> gosh, listen to me on. Oh my God. Oh shoot. Um, uh, you know, we could limit this to the to some rows. Okay, I'm not going to bother with this. With this now, it turns out you can do this in. A, you can't define a range, but uh, if you define a column and a row, it'll in a function, it'll go around the cells. You know, I I didn't. It's kind of weird. You can't define a range, but you can do that. But, well, I just said you can't put, define a range, but we can define a column range. Why you can do that? I don't know. Why well, can do some things and not others? And then we'll, we'll just get the first. So this is going to, we, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing in all the others. And then we compare this uh, range name to what we have. Now this one, if it's zero, we said, okay, we found one. But, you know, if, if we really do this, I know you don't have to do this kind of stuff in the Visual Basic. God, if you used to do this in C or something, or C++ without first initializing the variables, it would used to go crazy. So then we add one. Now, we don't do anything really until we found the second one. And then when we find the second one, that's when we exit the, 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 uh, the function. Okay? And then, so we, we go around, and if we find a match, then we add the number, and if the number is 2, then we call it find second. Now you could do this for 3 or 4 or 10 or whatever. And then you just put find uh, second. So, I hope I uh, did this okay. You know, we can look up, did I test value equals column range, cells row, compare the test, Evaluate the test against the VLOOKUP, and we use text compare. So, so this is all kind of the same. And I don't know if we really need this. So we, uh, okay, and uh, let's try it. So, okay, we put equal match. Find second. Shift F3. Again. This time, you, I hope you understand, we couldn't do this with the regular match command. Okay, and then we put the column range, and then we can use this one. I, I really would like to do this. Let's do it with our own. Okay, so we it worked. Ah, ah. And uh, uh, let's just... Okay, and you remember we could also put this in quotes. 
and we do formula uh, formula text okay and that's our second one all right and we're not going to do it here and let's go all the way down here so let's put find a second value and we put equal match find second and we go up to our bonjour and then we put this in so it's essentially the same thing and it gives us 23 and as usual when we uh, change this we get value and oh shoot why did that not work oh no okay and I'm gonna have to work on this stupid thing again okay when we put calculate full we get a value shit okay and just give me let's see if we can fix this one now I think I've solved it but it's kind of again just ridiculous so I put put a, a couple of extra things in we get our values I press calculate full well, it goes to wherever the cell was and now it works now um, let's control minus a couple of times calculate full it works now what I did was uh, uh, put application volatile into here when I take the application volatile out of here oh let's first do our little experiments find a different one and we press calculate full it doesn't work we have to go and do this now this one works but this one doesn't tell me why in the hell you need application volatile in this one whoops you know let's let's do something really stupid let's let's try this if I put this one here so we add a couple here we get the two values nope that wasn't it of course so certainly doesn't hurt to put this thing in why you know this stuff <laughs> seem I, I don't see the logic in here I really don't why you'd need it in one and not the other but the good news is uh, we we have fixed uh, various different uh, values and we need the uh, we really do need the uh, we really do need the calculate kind of full thing okay uh, I'm gonna try one thing I might end the video so don't worry if I do all right well what I tried didn't work so oh great what I tried is oh fuck sorry oh shit I shouldn't have said that uh, um, I was gonna go around to, why am I showing you this uh, but what I was gonna do was really just review things okay and uh, what we did was we put and now I put this application volatile in any we said okay this just basically does the same this just does a, a basic match where we just look around and we can do this in we can use the cells command in the functions then we did one with truncated uh, uh, values then we that means we, we, we just that was our bonjour Sophie Sophia and then we 
then said we let's look for the second one and, and that we needed an application volatile and then we had two different uh, name sheets now I have all this other junk in here and then we we kind of had this, to do this funny thing with the calculate God knows why okay so let's uh, uh, Oh shit! <laughs> okay, uh, I, I uh, okay. So I'm going to uh, stop this now. Just to make this thing cra totally crazy, I had to take the application volatile out of the other things and leave it in some. You know, okay, it works. That's the basic issue. It works, and and now we're going to uh, apply it to a kind of a real case, okay? Uh, and that's the end of this video that I frustrating as hell, isn't it?